Hi, my name's Jordan Schulte and we are here at Clarence Drive Film and Sound Studio for the acoustic sessions. And joining us in the studio is one of Queensland's hardest working musos. He's a very busy man. Please welcome Johan Coppers, aka Han Solo. Cheers, thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, oh, it's, thanks for being here. You're a busy man. Yeah. You're gigging all the time, every weekend. I'm mm. glad we... Because you live on the Gold Coast, right? Yeah, I just live down the street. So I live uh, right in Mermaid Beach. So close to most of the places I play every weekend. And you just mentioned before, you're, you're gigging almost every weekend, right? Yeah, like pretty much... Um, yes, I think it's been about two years. I've been gigging for about, uh, I don't know, at least one to eight gigs every single weekend. So Fantastic. it's been quite hectic, So you keep an active, keep them busy. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, the thing is, I, I think uh, lately I've been focusing a lot more on like the live music aspect. So... So um, instead, a lot of artists, I understand, they spend a lot of time in the studio recording music, and that's really kind of where I need to get to now. Because yeah. um, for so long, I've just been shows, gigs, you know, more live, more shows, more shows, and now it's like, wait, step back and, you know, actually get something you can show everybody. Uh, I want to take it like right back to the start, because you're originally from Florida, yep. in the States. Yep. So uh, did you get into music there, or was it when you moved to Australia, or, or what made you move to Australia? Was it the music? Uh, well, it, it's a kind of funny story. Um, yeah, so I've started music since I was a kid. Um, like pretty much, I mean, my grandmother's 94 and still plays piano, so it goes oh. to show like where the music influence comes in. Um, but at, but at the end of the day, what what it was is um, yeah, I've, I've always loved music. It's been a passion of mine. And then um, in 2009, when I graduated college, um, the recession hit and there was there was really no jobs or anything. Um, and then it was kind of one of those situations where you gotta you gotta see how big your balls are and see kind of what you, the kind of person you're made of. And I was like, man. I worked in Cali for a couple months and have friends in Australia, so I said, fuck it, man. I'll sell everything and got a one-week ticket to Australia five years ago. And here I am still making a living. And Fantastic. And it goes to show well, that that decision paid off because now yep. you're working constantly. And surfing yeah. as much as I want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, having a good time. It's not too bad. That's it. I actually, um, before we go, I just want to hear one more thing. I read on your website, uh, incredible, incredible live performances. You always get the audience involved, like you said, uh, you know, getting them dancing, getting them, making it rain. <laughs> You can actually, uh, you have the ability to freestyle rap yep. about people in the audience. Yep. Do you reckon if I dropped some kind of percussive beat, you could rap about me? Mm, yeah, possibly. If I just gave you a few things about yep. me. Or even this, how about I just rap about yeah, me? Yeah, give me a few things. Let's see what uh, we can do. My name's Jordan. Uh, we're here. I'm hosting the Acoustic Sessions. We're here at Clarence Drive Film and Sound Studio on the Gold Coast, yep. interviewing upcoming local acts uh, for uh, recording using Rode microphones. Yep. All right, I'll, I'll drop a bit, hand. All right, let's see how we go. Hanging out with Jordan here, but up in Helen's Vale. We're gonna get some music at Clarence Drive, that is real. We're gonna record it so we got the mic set up. We got the road, we gonna do a tip top. Because I got the music, but I've been starting so low. And I gotta say that we've been doing this interview with all these cameras, and it's great because me and Jordan, we got the style, and we've been going wild. The rapper that you met, he sounds like Dick. Tell me later his name, all right? I tried to come up with something at the end, but it didn't work. Anyways, yeah. Just, You're yeah, Han Coppers. Just for some fun. Just for some fun. Han Solo, <laughs> one of the hardest working and dopest musicians on the Cold Coast. Thanks so much for coming in and talking to us today. <laughs> no worries. Anytime, man. That's Good to see you guys. With the palm trees, I'm swing the world are just fine. Some to a body, dick so am I. Pure feet and living with a lower state of mind. The fresh food, good, Mr. the love and you and you. Leave us to this feeling that you're feeling. But if you were people and you'd be the boy by the culture in the cell, will make you happy your life. I'm going to the islands, to the place where we belong. So I'm needed to be breathing when you're so go to the island when 
by me Sitting in the hammock relaxing and vomiting And I got coconut and I'm vomiting and I'm drinking Baby, you know that I've been thinking about this long that we got when the sun rises and sets You know we're gonna be doing all this From the points of dawn until it comes up again Because you know, baby, I love it never end But we're going to the islands To the place where we belong Cause I'm needing Down in the islands A good time, so goodbye. You know, you come with me, we're gonna have a good time, and the good times are free. But if you're gonna get drunk, then make sure that you don't drive. Cause you just got a smoking fly, but it's gonna be a good time. You see the host, most of the most, Mr. Jordan, and my man Adam here at Clarence Drive Studios. We're rocking this music, and we're gonna do it, bro. Cause I'm going. See that girl along. Be up yourself. Woo. <laughs> um, for so long, you know, I, I that's why I want to put this in this blog. Like, I'll, I'll admit that I felt like I was living a very selfish, ego-driven life where music for me was a channel to try and become famous, be loved by everybody, have a lot of money, that's, be important. That's the bane of every performing artist. Yeah, and there's so many artists <laughs> that are that way. Yeah. Um, so and, and exactly like you touched on, I think uh, when, when it comes from a, a pure place, um, I think it's you, you connect more with people when they hear your music, um, and people like that. Uh, well, number one, of course, and um, Corey of Jakaya can vouch for this is definitely Bob Marley. Um, yeah. He, since I was a kid, uh, I've got really into the, um, just the music, and I guess the, the real aspect, and it's the thing that drives my music, is that positive vibe. So you feel the music. Uh, and the words you listen to, and, and it's almost, it's it's like a poem, you know? Um, so he was my biggest influence as a kid because, you know, it's songs about love and happiness and good things and good times and, uh, and, and in the world that we're dealing with today, that's what's the best, you know, is kind of having something to bring you up. 